We will explore infectious diseases, their nature, common terminology used to describe them, and examine various types of infectious diseases. So, what exactly is an infectious disease? It refers to a disease caused by infectious agents such as viruses, bacteria, parasites, or fungi. Historically, infectious diseases were a significant global problem and a leading cause of death. Epidemics of smallpox, tuberculosis, syphilis, cholera, and plague resulted in millions of deaths worldwide. The 1918 influenza pandemic alone claimed approximately 40 million lives globally. However, advancements in nutrition, antibiotics, immunization, food safety, housing, and sanitation have significantly reduced the prevalence of infectious diseases. Although infectious diseases have been mitigated, they remain a concern even today. In 2012, infectious diseases still accounted for three of the top ten causes of death worldwide, lower respiratory tract infections, HIV AIDS, and diarrheal diseases. Additionally, diseases like malaria and tuberculosis continue to affect millions of individuals. Moreover, emerging diseases such as Ebola and MERS-CoV have caused deadly outbreaks, claiming thousands of lives. Let's delve into what happens when a person gets infected and familiarize ourselves with the terminology associated with infectious diseases. When an organism enters the body, some individuals can fend it off through their immune system, while others may develop the disease. People with weakened immune systems, whether due to drugs, age, or other illnesses, are more susceptible to developing the disease. Similarly, individuals who lack immunity either because they haven't encountered the disease before or haven't been vaccinated, are also prone to infection. The period from infection to symptom onset is called the incubation period. The clinical stage of the disease is marked by the emergence of symptoms, which can vary from mild to severe. The disease persists until the infection resolves or the person succumbs. Now, let's familiarize ourselves with key terms used in describing infectious diseases. The infectious period refers to the duration during which an infected person can transmit the disease to others. Some individuals, known as carriers, may not exhibit symptoms but can still infect others. Case fatality, on the other hand, measures the severity of a disease by indicating the proportion of infected individuals who die from it. For instance, if 6 out of 10 people with the disease die, the case fatality is 60%. The basic reproductive rate is a term used to gauge the infectiousness of a disease. It represents the average number of secondary cases arising from a single infected individual. Measles, for example, can have a basic reproductive rate of up to 15, meaning one measles case can lead to up to 15 additional cases. Another measure of infectiousness is the secondary attack rate, which represents the proportion of exposed individuals who develop the infection. For seasonal influenza, the secondary attack rate is around 10%, implying that one out of every 10 susceptible individuals exposed to an influenza case will contract the infection. Now, let's explore some important categories of infectious diseases. Zoonotic diseases are those transmitted from animals to humans, accounting for over 60% of human infectious diseases. Examples include leptospirosis, toxoplasmosis, campylobacteriosis, and rabies. Emerging infectious diseases are either newly identified in a population or rapidly increasing in incidence or geographic range. Examples encompass MERS-CoV, Ebola, Hendra virus, and new strains of influenza. Neglected tropical diseases affect the poorest countries and vulnerable populations, causing significant illness. They include conditions such as leishmaniasis, trachoma, sleeping sickness, and schistosomiasis. Vector-borne diseases are transmitted to humans through the bite of an infected animal or insect vector, such as mosquitoes, ticks, flies, fleas, or snails. Examples include malaria, dengue fever, sleeping sickness, and schistosomiasis. Vector-borne diseases are responsible for more than 17% of all infectious diseases and result in over 1 million deaths annually. In summary, infectious diseases are caused by infectious agents and have historically been a major global concern. While advancements have reduced their prevalence, they still pose a significant threat. 
Understanding terms associated with infectious diseases such as the incubation period, infectious period, case fatality, basic reproductive rate, and secondary attack rate helps in assessing their severity and spread. Different categories of infectious diseases, including zoonotic diseases, emerging diseases, neglected tropical diseases, and vector-borne diseases, each present unique challenges to public health. By gaining knowledge about infectious diseases and their various aspects, we can effectively combat and prevent their spread.